Hey guys, this is James with Isotropic, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add tooltips like this to a website built with WordPress. Um, this is a tutorial specific for the Oxygen Builder, but these concepts can be used for pretty much any website out there that you can edit the source code to. We are going to be using a very powerful library called tippy.js. And we're only going to scratch the surface of this library. There are a ton of things that you can do here, a ton of different configurable options. Um, it's not just tool tips. You can also do drop downs. You can also do specific JavaScript triggers on hover, HTML content, um, following the cursor with the tool tip, nesting individual levels. There's really a lot you can do here. Um, but I'm going to just show you how to add stuff like this to a website. And I think these are very important uh, little micro interactions slash uh, user interface slash user experience elements that really can help um, specific applications and specific use cases within a website. If you have specific information to convey, maybe something's not as clear as you would like it to be, adding a tooltip is a great way to clarify things. And with this library, adding a tooltip to any uh, website, specifically one created with Oxygen Builder, is very easy. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple, really straightforward, uh, and you should follow the um, documentation. I'm going to be talking about it here and it's linked in the description below. So under the getting started tab in the documentation, it basically tells you everything you need to know. Um, all you need are, are two JavaScript libraries. So popper.js and tippy.js. And these are uh, unpackaged CDN links. Uh, and unpackaged is a great CDN. And what this link means is that you're always going to have the most up-to-date version of the uh, second version, or in this case, the sixth version um, of the library. So anything past version six, so 6.2, 6.3, you always have the most up-to-date um, version. So you'll always have the, the most up-to-date features. You also have security benefits by using this. And you can use this service with many different JavaScript libraries, just something I wanted to point out there. Okay, so we're going to take these two scripts and we're going to add them to our WordPress website. They say place it at the very bottom of the body, um, but we can really place this anywhere. I'm going to follow this documentation. And to do this, there are two main methods that I would say um, one in the Oxygen Builder ecosystem would use. The first would be simply using a code block um, like so and adding it to your page. And then under PHP HTML, simply copying and pasting from the documentation word for word character for character, the first script popper, the second script tippy. That's it. That's all you need to do. If you want something that is more ready for production, you can also use advanced scripts. I really love advanced scripts. It's a paid um, script management tool. The beta version that's that's out now and the the second version of this tool allows for conditions and a ton of advanced features. So something to keep your eye on and you can add that by simply adding new titling it type equals javascript load from url paste the url in save it enable it and i really like this because you can toggle them on and off just something i wanted to get out of the way there's a link in the description below so first step is adding the scripts to the website and to keep things simple let's just say i'm going to add them using the code block the second step is not really a step, but you need to choose how you want to integrate this tooltip solution into your site. So you've added the library and now there are two methods that you can use to add tooltips to your site. And I'll show you how to do both of them. The first is by using a data attribute. The second is by using JavaScript. And I'm going to show you how to do the data attribute first, and then I'll show you how to do JavaScript. And you can compare and contrast and see which method works best for you. So if you're trying to do a data attribute, essentially what that means is that you will specify the content and the properties within HTML data attributes. And if you don't understand what that means, I'll show you in a second. It's very simple and easy to understand. First, we need to go into our code block or add a new code block and then add specific JavaScript, which initializes this data attribute effect. So this is the JavaScript that you need, basically tippy, and then it says 
data tippy content and this is copied and pasted from the documentation but you can just pause this video and write it into any javascript section on your site on a code block or or globally or in the header or in the footer using a code snippet whatever method you want to do once you've done this on the individual element that you want to add a tooltip to you simply add a data attribute to that so the way we did this on the Oxygen Builder website, you go click on the individual element, and it can be any element. In this example, it's a button and an image, but you can use a div, you can use a full section, you can use columns, you can use text, you can use head headlines, really anything that uh, Oxygen has to offer you can use. Then click on the element. We're in the Elements tab. We're going to go to Advanced, and then under Advanced, we're going to go to Attributes, which is the bottom tab. Then we're going to add data tippy content as an attribute and then in the um i forgot what it's called in the value section we're going to add whichever whatever the content is that we want the tooltip to say so if we go to our front end demo it says hey i'm an image so the content says hey i'm an image very simple very basic and that's it so to recap we add our two scripts to the site then we initialize the attribute method and then we add our data attribute to the element. And this can be repeated on any element on any page in the website as long as the scripts and the initialization are present on the page. So you can do that with a code block, but I recommend, again, advanced scripts because it's global. That's very simple, very basic. To get a little more complex, but not really, um, say we want the tooltip to show up on the bottom instead of the top. So it defaults to the top. If we don't specify the position of the tooltip, it will be on the top of any element that you apply to. But I want it to be on the bottom or the right of the element. To do that using the attribute method, it's simply another data attribute. So we go click on the element, we go to advanced, we scroll down, we go to attributes, we type in our content, and then we add another attribute that says data tippy placement. And the placement can be top, bottom, left, right, top, right, bottom, right, anything like that. So we say data to be placement, bottom. If we wanted it to go to the right of the image, so show up here instead of here, we would say right. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Apply the attributes, save the page, and you'll have your custom and customly positioned tooltip on an Oxygen Builder element. Now, that's the attribute method. It's a great way to add and manage and edit um, specific tooltips on specific elements. Another method, and this is more of the recommended method under the documentation. I really like data attributes, so I, I usually use data attributes. But if you want more control and if you want to leverage all of the specific properties that you can use to customize this, remember I said this is a very advanced library, you can use the... And here are all of your properties and what they do. So read through your documentation if you want to get really uh, advanced with this and, and mess around with it. There are custom CSS themes. There's really a lot you can do here. So read if you want to learn more. I'm just showing you how to do basic tool tips here. All right. So if you want to add additional properties then you can use this method. Or if you want to globally specify things or really anything, you can use this method. They're interchangeable, the attribute method and the JavaScript method, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So first step, like always, is adding the two scripts to your site globally. So use advanced scripts or use a code block. Um, and then once those scripts are on the site, so you'd paste them into here, once those scripts are on the site, instead of initializing the data attribute and then adding the data attribute, there's only one additional step, which is writing some JavaScript. And if you don't know JavaScript, you don't need to know it. It's really simple. Very basic JavaScript. So tippy, and then you specify the element that you want the effect to be applied to. In this case, we added a custom CSS class to our button. So this is known as button B. Uh, so in our JavaScript, we say, this effect will apply to button B and then we specify our property and the only property that you need is content so this is the content of the button tooltip and basically what this code does is say in button B we're going to apply the tippy tooltip 
and the content within the tippy tooltip is going to be button tooltip exclamation mark and that's it so we've added our scripts we've specified this in javascript and we call it a day and then this defaults to the top position because the default position for a tooltip is top if we don't specify the position it will show up on the top now let's say we want to get a bit more advanced and we want to position the tooltip and let's say we want this on the right so we specify the selector and this can be a, a class or an ID or anything uh, and we specify this is image B and it has a custom image B class so we say on image B we want the content of the tooltip to say I am an image and the placement of that tooltip to be to the right of the image save the page go to the front end reload your page with the element and hover over the image and this is applying to the bottom because I'm assuming it didn't update so we've specified that here's our content and here's the position of the tooltip really basic really simple very well done tooltip JavaScript library with a ton of additional customization um, you can set up Ajax you can set up uh, additional plugins to add more functionality you can set up animations CSS themes include HTML content within them there's really a lot you can do here that I didn't touch upon because the documentation is so well written you don't even need to understand the JavaScript you just need to understand the concepts that it's showing you but if you're looking to add a tooltip to an oxygen builder website a WordPress website or really any website that you can access custom JavaScript for and simply go over and say inspect element and find the the element that you want to apply the effect to so here's our here's our ID we could just do the JavaScript method outlined before then you can add a tooltip using this library really basic really simple pretty lightweight library doesn't have a massive performance impact and I think tooltips are really um, left out of web design and can really help specific elements and you don't want to go overboard and with this library it's probably easy to go overboard but the properly pay placed tooltip is a great addition to any website hopefully this video was helpful in teaching you how to add a tooltip to an oxygen builder website there are two methods you can use the attributes method or the JavaScript method both methods work really well. One other thing I wanted to mention is that we have this JavaScript in a, in a tooltip, but each individual section, each individual element I meant, on Oxygen Builder has under advanced their own JavaScript section. So if you want to keep things attached to each element, you can use this method. If you want to do global stuff, so you could have like a tooltip class that says, it will apply this tooltip with this content to any element that I apply this class to. You could have a standard class, set up your content, and then globally.